About maybe three minutes more. Yang apa nih seret? Bawang stakal. Kira. Selak naik lockdown ya? Selak nak ligu ligu nak ini mikdagat. Ya. Kami dri lock lockdown ni kan balik lockdown six six weeks. Mana mana? Nak tak asyik pun nak kencing dia? Di di mang kami. Hindi man kayo daghan kung pero sa Pilipinas, pero stick to lang nila. For example, mm. kaya mga bawa sa, Milbo, sa Milbourne, mga dosintos kapin na, na infik, ang infection, pero wala kayo, wala may namatay o sara, pero daghan lang infection pa. Nagpatisting ko nga like ko last week kung COVID <laughs> kay kan? Laku katen gapun. Ah, kira kay na mas diar pinimo pinimo mo magistorya. Hmm. So, uh, maybe one, one minute more. Um, dali lang kayo, Misha. I just want to share with you the update of the templates and how to use the template. And I think that's all. Because the previous one was not, I mean, there's there a lot of changes I made to the template. Uh, it's good that I have to... Um, follow up the presentation of GR yesterday because um, it won't uh, probably mo makali mo okay sige so good na okay um, by the way I mean can you hear my voice clearly from there yes sir okay good Okay, so let's start. Um, I prepared one simple structure today, and I will use this to illustrate on how to use the template. Okay. So, um, may tang na pas diar kan? Um, wala pas diar no? Sige lang. Um, oh, okay, so you may have a master in Isimare, so I can go back up. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, okay. So, first, um, I just want to show you what's the difference between the ESIM RF and the normal design. With the normal design, when you design a member, okay, so with the normal design, see for example, this is a beam, and there's, a, there's another beam to the other side of the column, and this is the column. When you do the design for the conventional way, you just have to uh, take care that this member is safe. You don't have to worry about the other members which are part of the joint. Okay, but in ECMRF, 
you are trying to establish that this connection is really working uh, as a uh, with its with its other. I mean, this should be working as a unit, and that's the purpose of um, special moment resisting frame. And that is why, if you notice, we have to strengthen this column by adding more um, lateral ties or hoops, because you want if there is um, if if this member is resisting a moment this member should be able to connect to the rest of the joint. That's why you have to strengthen this column because without a, string, a strong column, you will not be able to um, transfer the, the stresses from this column or this, this moment beam here won't be able to help this member if, the, if, that, if this column cannot transfer the stresses from this to here. And that's the, that's the main difference um, um, special moment resisting frame. Now, let's go to the design in frame CE. Um, when you want to design a ACMRF, go to this design menu and then click this ACMRF button. Usually, if you want to design the normal way, you just have to click either this linear elastic or the second order uh, design mode. But for ECMRF, you have to click this ECMRF button. Okay, and then frame C will analyze. And then next is you have to declare <clears throat> what are the load cases that is used to design the strength of the members. So first, although these uh, some these uh, cases what they uh, one, two, and three, and four are all primary load cases, and these five, six, and seven are combination load cases. But for the purposes of um, demonstration, I want to design the member in every load case uh, one at a time just to show you how the template works. Okay, so first, see for example, I want to design a member just for the dead load. And after, so you have to check the dead load. You can see here, I am, I am checking this check box here and then click OK. And after that, you can see that um, all these menu are, and the activity. Now I made this on purpose so that you won't be able to use uh, this menu because you are only in design mode at this time. Okay. So also the rest of these buttons are also deactivated. So to start with the design, you have to click one call one. Um, beam and one column. Now, if you will click um, two beams, for example, uh, FrameCA will complain that, uh, hang on, uh, hang on, um, okay, first, um, when you do the, do the design, you have to select the available rebar diameters for your design. I will just check most of this. Say, for example, um, I don't want 16 millimeters, so I will uncheck this, and that means the design uh, will start from the 20 millimeter diameter bars. And you also have <clears throat> the option of choosing the type or the moment to be used in your beam design. You have the option of using the moment at the face of the column or at the center of joint. Now, there's a huge difference between using the moment at the center of the joint compared to the face of the column. Um, we, I think we have done a, a bit of research in this, and I, I found out that it's roughly around 20% 
maybe even 30% difference um, when you use uh, the reduction, I mean, when you use the moment at the face of the column. And I think um, you will save a lot of rebars when you use the face of column moments for the reason that um, but, it, but in reality, you don't really need to design uh, using the, the center of joint because um, there's a column in there. So it can save a lot of uh, rebars. Okay, so just click and see here what happened is that because I selected two beams and there's no column, uh, frame C will warn you that you have to select one beam and one column. And so I have to change my selection. So I have to uncheck this beam and then select this column. Now say for example, um, I will check this column, not this one, and see what happens. And then Prem say I will complain. The selected beam and column are not connected to a common node. And, and it's, uh, it's it's, I mean, silly for me to choose this, but I just wanted to show you what happens in you if you do some really silly things in your design. Okay, so you have to select a column and a beam that are connected at the node. Okay, so here, and then do the design, and frame CA will generate the stresses, and then open the Excel template and then populate um, the Excel template of the stresses from the analysis. And okay, here, um, you will see that um, the template is still um, calculating. Okay, so what you see here is uh, a yellow color cell, uh, which says increase hopes area along columns X side. What this means is that <clears throat> your column area is not enough. I mean, I mean the, the hopes area provided is not enough to satisfy the code requirements. But you see here, I already have hopes all over the, the, the rebars. Now, but to satisfy the code requirement, you have to increase the, the diameter. <clears throat> Sorry, um, so you select this drop down box, select this, and you have the option of choosing from 10, 12, 16, and you can also have a double leg of 10 millimeter diameter. So it's indicated here by two dash 10 mm, meaning there are two, two um, legs for every hoop. You can also have two 12 mm and two 12 16. So say for example, I will increase the, at this time, um, the tie diameter or the hoop diameter is, is 10 millimeter as you can see here. So um, I will increase this to 12. And then the template recalculates, and still it's it's not enough. So I can try 16. And now it's safe, it says here. So whenever the yellow um, colored cell turns to green, that means um, you're good. And you will also notice that it says here that the column is safe using um, ECM RF criteria. So you're safe here. But the thing is that um, sometimes you don't want to bend a 16 millimeter bars. It's not easy to bend um, 16 bars. So you can also in case if you like, you can choose the double 10 millimeters because it's much easier to bend and you can, you're also safe here. Okay, um, now see here, your column is safe. You know it's safe because um, all the values of the, this is actually the, the load here. The load is 761 and the capacity for the A actual is 3000. You can, you can also see here from the column interaction diagram. Okay, 
this is the moment and this is the, the capacity. So they're all safe. Now, you go to the beam. Say, for example, now this is the, the design of beam based on EasyMRF. Now, um, the, you notice here that the main rebar is 20 millimeters because if you remember when I started the design, I didn't check the 60 millimeters, meaning um, the template will start from the 20 because there was no 16 available when I start when I um, called the design template uh, from FreeCE. Okay, so this this is the design of your lift node. And how do you know this is lift node? You can see here it's node 32, and this is the right or right end of the beam. This is the node 40. You can see here if I go to um I will okay, maybe I should hide the slab. And then Show the node number. Okay. Uh, ah, I have to rotate. Uh, maybe I'll see. Uh, okay, if I'll check this. See, it's a Node one is 32, this one, and the node two is it's support, it's 40. Okay. Um, then I'll go back to the template. <laughs> now, um, frame CE design the top bars based on this moment. You see here EMU. This is the moment at the top, it's negative moment, 109, and at the bottom it's zero. Um, the, reason, the reason it's zero because I only have one load case used that is deep load. And for that, there is only um, negative moment at the, at, the, at the top, but there is no moment at the bottom. I mean, the, from, for the bottom bars. So this is the design for the mid, mid span. It, there's zero moment at the, for the top bars and then the and moment at the bottom is 91. Now, <clears throat> Obviously, um, because there is a requirement for the minimum bars for every area, of a section area. So I think there are three bars, both top, top and bottom, because of the minimum requirements that. And then, so <clears throat> you can also, if you don't like the, the, the bars, you can increase, say for example, I will change to 25. Then frame C it will recalculate, and then now because of the minimum area requirements, uh, only two 25 millimeter bars is required uh, for top and bottoms as I increase the rebar. But for I think because of the move of the strength requirement, it still need three at the bottom at mid span. This um um. Uh, I think it's nah, maybe it's a requirement. I think, yeah, could be, yeah. Anyway, um, columns. Now, <clears throat> as you see here, everything is safe. And then you can either, oh, one, one thing here. This, um, wait, wait, wait. Um, okay, there's a, a worksheet which says uh, column beam. And this is where um, the code requires that the strength of the, um, I mean, the, the strength of the column must, must be at least 20% higher than the strength, the moment strength of the beam. So you have to satisfy this according to the code. and. At this, uh, at this um, design, it, it does. Okay, so we are safe here. 
Now, save, save a mortgage. This is also for the joint requirement. You, you don't have to do anything here. Just, uh, you have to um, just um, show that it is safe or not. But if, if this is not safe, then frequency error will warn you that this is not safe, so you have to do something. Okay, so now, um, say for example, I want to, oh, I cannot increase the, I want to increase the, uh, the bars in beam, see what happens. Okay, see here, when I increase the bars, the rebars in, the beam um, still under the minimum requirements. You have to uh, you have to have at least two of them for the thirty-two mil bars. But um, when you go to the weak column and a uh, strong column with beam checking, now because I increase the rebars in the beam, it came out that the beam is now much stronger than the column. So. You can see here that although I made uh, the structure safer because I increased the strength of the beam, but it, it didn't satisfy the requirements of the strong column weak beam um, from the code um, requirements. Okay, so um, for that, I have to return to the weaker beam. I think that was 20. See here, my beam now is than the, than we're having a 32 mil bar. Okay, um, it's now weaker, but according to the code, this is much better, okay? So now I have a safe column, I have a safe beam, so I can accept or reject. I can do the rejection or acceptance either in this beam tab or in this in column tab. So once I click the accept button, then uh, Frame C will return to its main window, which is here. Now, um, what you see here is um, all, um, I have here a gray um, colored beam and a gray colored column, it's because these two are already designed. And you might be wondering um, why is, is these two are also gray? It's because I have designed this previously. So the mean, uh, what these colors mean is that once you have designed the element, this will turn to gray and those un uh, which don't have design yet will still have their own original color. Now, <clears throat> you can also you see here, you can also remove the design if, say for example, um, I will select these members here and then click this uh, remove design. Uh, okay, uh, see this one, uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe outside, not not here. But anyway, um, now I will. Once you've done the design, you, you because you cannot do anything outside out, because the others other menus and the buttons are deactivated. You have to go back. You have to click this back to model design. So when you click this back to model. You won't be able to design, but you can do the, the rest of the operations in the program. Okay, so now um, I, I have, if you want to remove the design, um, just select any, any ele uh, the elements and then click remove design, and then the design wa was removed. Meaning if you print the design output, then you won't get any because the, the design were deleted. Now, say for example, I will go back to another, to ECMRF design, click this button, and then now 
I will, this time, I will design using did load and live load. Okay, so click, okay. And then I will still, I will still design this too, just for example. Okay, and then click individual design. Now this time I have two load cases to be used for the design. So the bid load and the live load. So let's see what happens here. Now you see here it's checking bid load, it's checking live load uh, to now um, still calculating. Okay, here. Now you see here, although I use live load as well, but um, the column template shows that the designing or the the load keys did load actually governs the loads for designing the column. So that's why it says here did load. So this means that it's the designing, it's a governing load case. Now, see it, uh, it says increase hopes area along X axis. Um, so I just have to increase, see if it's the word. I don't think it is, and then, so 16. So basically uh, I, I'm still designing the same um, load keys previously because this time when I add the live load, it means that, that live load wasn't really the governing load case. It was the, the did load. Okay, so um, see here, if I use uh, 16 mm, I only need two, but if I use two, two leg, um, 10 mm, I, I need uh, one more uh, ligature. Okay, so basically, um, I think it's still the same design because the live load is not really as as uh, as huge as the did load. So again, accept, and then I will show you what happens when I add another load case. And then uh, say, for example, I will add one load case here. Now there are three, did load, live load, and seismic. Now, the same el um, elements. And I think this time what will govern is the size load. Now, because there are three load cases this time, uh, it will be a bit longer to um, design for the template. See, uh, okay. okay. Huh. Uh, it seems to me it's still the did load, maybe it's because of the use uh, of the use um, load case in there. Uh, right. hmm. It's interesting. Uh, I, I think it should be uh, anyway. Uh, G. Ah, okay. I think it should be system size. Mm. Anyway, uh, I I think this should be seismic anyway. I'll check the seismic later. Now this time, because I, I include the seismic, uh, there is more more load, uh, different design now. And still, um, it's already safe right away because there are lots of, uh, there are lots of um, hoops in there. So you can also accept. And then if you want to add more design here, go to, Hmm. 
Ah, because I changed the. Okay. Ah, I think um, I I think this should be seismic. This this should be seismic. Not just speed load. Okay. But, but anyway, um, this is this is how the template works. Maybe um, it didn't change when I did the, the, the I mean the programming, but we'll see what we'll see what's the real load case later. Okay, so then accept, and then but it doesn't really matter because you don't have to to do anything. It's all about templates. Okay, you can add more design. You can add more design. Um, It checks for dead load. See here, it's live load. It says mid load. So, actually, the template um, the template checks all the load cases, and then whichever is the most critical is um, used here. This is how the the template works. Okay, so accept, and then once you've done all the design, you can go back to the model and then click the, this design results. If you want to um, see the design schedule. See here, I, I, have, I have three uh, beams designed. I have also three columns designed. I haven't designed the footing yet because um, I just wanted to show that it's MRF design this time. Okay, so, so I think basically this is how you do the design in is for ECMRF in frame CE. So um do you have um any question? Any question? Voilà. Okay. Ah. Okay. So we shall move on. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah. Reversal mode paano yun, sir? Okay, um, say for example, um, we see here when I did that, uh, click design. Now, this load cases, uh, this did load live load seismic one, seismic two. Now, this seismic one is actually, and seismic one and seismic two are actually the reverse. This seismic two is the reversal of seismic one. So I'm going to show you the design. Um, okay, um, I'll show you what is load keys. Um, okay, load keys seismic one. Okay, this is the load case seismic one, and this is the load case seismic two. This is the seismic one, seismic one is the reversal of seismic two. So I'm going to show you what happened with these two load cases, and you will see the reversal of, of, um, of moments. Say for example, mm, Node number. 
is in my F design. I will just design. I will just design for seismic one and see what happens. Seismic one. Okay. Okay, so now, look, if you, uh, wait. Okay, now look at here, um, for seismic one, the right node, the right end has the top bars in, uh, the top in, in, in tension, that's why, because it has negative 197. Whereas the other end has a reversal of moment. That's why you can see here, the other end has four bars at the bottom, but only three at the top, because the moment at the left is actually tension at the bottom. See here. Now, let, and then, let us see, I will design I will design only for seismic two. And then I will design both later, okay? This one, design. Let us see what happened. Now see here, at the left, it's now the top that has four bars, and now the right has four bars at the bottom because there is a reversal of moment. Okay, so now let us see what happened if I use both load cases. Okay, so design, and then I will use seismic one and seismic two, and then design. Let's just wait. See here, because I use both um, seismic loads. So because one load case, this one needs to be four bars. And the other load case, this one needs to be four bars. And because of that, both reversals, I have now both uh, four bars, top and bottom for uh, both ends of the beam. Okay, and so the, I think that, that answers your question about reversal uh, real metrics. Did I answer you? Um, I think that, that shows that PrimCE considers the reversal of, of moments because I included two um, load cases in there. So um, any more questions? Hi, sir. Yes? Ask ko, sir, what if I check na lang lahat ng load cases? Hey, oh, yeah. Para yeah, ma-check yeah. yung load reversal. Ah, okay. Let us see. Um, lahat the load case. Yeah, you can do that, obviously. 
I'm just showing um, what happens because you, you will, by, by showing you just seismic one and just seismic two, you will realize that due to seismic one, um, what the left end needs more bars, and then due to seismic two, the other end needs more bars. Now, say for example, you want to check all load cases. Um, you want this or just the combination of load cases? What do you want? Well, what yung, do you want? Yung, kung okay lang ba yun, sir, na i-check na lang lahat ng load cases kung okay lang. Para oh, makita yeah, yeah. para makita agad na yung stress reversal. Well, the, the stress the stress reversal is due to uh, individual load case. But I think you will still see that the stress reversal. But you, I mean, you cannot see stress reversal. You can just see the design due to stress reversal. Okay, and then this... Now, it takes a bit longer now, um, this time, because um, I'm using seven load cases. And see here, uh, it's checking load case one. Load, this is, um, column is now checking every load case. You can see here. Okay, and then. Template, okay. Um, it says here, increase hope air, area. So let's try 12 millimeters and it's fine. And then beam. You can see here, um, due to um, symmetrical um, in stress reversal, top bars of both ends are basically the same and bottom bars are the same. So, See, yeah, this is the, the main design. Now, I think uh, there is a uh, minimum requirements for um, bars at the bottom. I think GI yeah, knows the, I think from GI, yeah, I learned that it needs to be half, a uh, minimum half of the, of the area of the other end, I mean, of the other um, end of the section. So yeah, see here, I mean, the, the, the rebars are identical at its end due to stress reversal. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yep. Now it's interesting. I will show you, <clears throat> say for example, I, probably it's because of the seismic, I mean, I think the governing, uh, the, the governing load case. Let's say for example, let's say that will not include this one. Uh, it's only this up to load case six. And uh, let's see what happens if it's still identical.
in in a great it's checking okay now it's not now this time so that means that um the load the, the load case um, was governed by, I mean, load K6 and 7, and because I removed one load case in the design, now I don't have a symmetrical rebar sizes on both, on its, on both ends. See here, this is 7, this is 5. Yeah, that, that shows um, because I removed the, the other load case. See here. Yeah, so um, um, I guess this is just what I wanted to explain to frame CEO search and how to use this ECMR template. So do you have any other um, concern or questions? Do you think, I think, for, I think there's not much, uh, there's not much for you to, to I mean, digest here because everything is by the template. See here, you're just clicking and selecting. You 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 are not you you're just like playing. So just not you cannot. It's hard for you to make a mistake because what you do is just click and select. So um. Guys, do you have any other questions? Bella? Do you find it I mean, confusing or what? Uh, user friendly, sir. Okay. Um, sir, meron sa, sa chat. Kung saan? Itatanong ko lang kasi wala sa loob combination natin. Okay. Now, I think... Uh, Oh, well, I, I think it's, um, it, I, uh, the tanong ko lang kasi wala sa load combination na ipinakita. What, what do you mean wala sa load combination na ipinakita? Ah, you can include it by creating a load case, for example. Okay, I, I have to go over your um, questions here. Does this analysis consider the seismic overtoning in both regions? Ah, yes, I mean, the load, the load case here, as I'm, I've shown, I already, I mean, I didn't show you how did I model this. I just went straight to the design. This, um, this is the load, load case, uh, seismic load case one. And this is the reversal. Okay? So, okay. over to me. Okay. 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 So, um, um, what do you mean by overtoning? What do you mean by overtoning? Overtoning in both directions. I think you, I think you mean um, reversal of, of, load, of, of lateral loads. Am I right? Does this overtoning? What uh, does this analysis considers the seismic overtoning in both direction by its MRF? I've, I think this is analysis. It's it's not. What do you mean by overtoning? I mean, overtoning in both direction. Guys? Siguro, uh, siguro sir yan yung tungkol sa ano, yung sa, sa section 208.18 ng, uh, eh, ng NSAP, in, ano yan, so, ng NSAP, yung E, 
uh, yung uh, mayroon yung row times the EH plus EV. Is it design or analysis? Sa analysis yan sa ah, yung okay. So, I was talking about the design of members. Ah, so, okay. I was talking about the design of members. So, if we are talking about the overturning due to the lateral loads, then you have to deal it within the analysis of the, of the, of the structure. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So, do you have? Um, I think basically that's that's what I wanted to share tonight. So I'm. I was just concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just concerned because uh, I have just released a template today and if somebody wants to use the template and they, they must know how the template works. That's why I I, I um, volunteered to have this special webinar. Okay. So regarding this design template for ACMRF, um, you can ask any any question. Any question, guys? Okay, so sir, another question in the chat box, sir. Okay. Um, ah, okay. Pwede bang sa left side na beam ang iselect tapos Columbia. Sure, doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I'll show you here. Um, go to design. Okay, and then that one, this, this. So, because I selected these two, then these two will be designed, not this column. That's the, that's the purpose there. Yeah, basically you can. The only requirement is that you have to select a column and a beam which are connected at a common node. That's the only requirement. And you don't have to worry because um, PremCA will complain. If you are not allowed to do that, then PremCA will say, oh, you're not allowed to do that. You must do this. Okay? So it's it's purely select and design. You can never be wrong. Increase the hopes. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, now see here um, the governing load case for the column design is actually this 1.4 plus 1.5 blind load plus seismic 2. That's the governing design for the column. See here, yeah, you, you're, you're able to design. See, this is element number 47. You will know that this column is element number 47. And if you go to, um, this is element number 47 actually. See here, it's element 47. Okay, exit. Okay, so any more question? Oh. 
makapagbago ng uh, makapagbago ng total drift analysis na pag naka-isima if na yung design sa LNC grado pasado na sa seismic adequacy at so um, another sir, pwede bang i-offset ang beam sa column say hindi siya gitna pero after okay yeah. well that's a, that's a really good question because it you don't okay i will show you here i'll go to column uh, did load uh, 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 did i Uh, uh, what was the question? Um, pwede bang i-opsit ang beam? Okay, I think, yeah. Um, I think this is the same question from, I think, Jit Ibanez before. Okay, here, I will hide them. Now, sometimes um, you have, say for example, you want to offset this beam a little from, not um, a bit eccentric from the column. So how, by how much you want to offset? By how much? Say for example, by, by 40 millimeters. Oh, now that's true. Let's choose, choose more. Uh, maybe like, um, what else? Um, by 200 mil, okay? So the trick here is that you have to create a, a, a short beam here. Okay. Um, one node. And, and then select. And then, say for example, ah, and then create a, a very a short beam, dx, is this dx, okay, say for example, 0.4 meters. Apply. And then do the same here. Apply. And then create an element. That one here, exit and delete this. Ah, there's a slab coming. I cannot delete a beam if there's a slab. So, see here, there's a slab. I should I should delete this um, slab first and then um, create a slab later. Um, uh, delete. Okay. okay, and then delete this element. Yes, see here. Look, you have opposite column here, beam, and then you can create a slab. Yeah, yeah and that's it. Does this answer your question? See here, it's it's opposite from the column. Um, did I answer your question? Is that Ralph Kagasan? Bakit siya hindi lahat ng beams at column sa join? Bakit? What do you mean, bakit hindi lahat ng beams at column sa joint? No, sir. What, what do you mean, bakit hindi lahat ng beams at column sa joint? Uh, di ba, sir? Ayun nga, no? Yung formula is summation ng beam strength over the uh, summation ng column strength. Are, are you talking about the design? Uh, yung sana, sa uh, 
beam column over strength. Beam, beam column. Yeah. Strong column, uh, strong column, weak beam check. Okay. Ba uh, so bakit, bakit siya hindi lahat ng beams at column sa join? Uh, Bale ang ginagawa oh. natin. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Okay. Isang, uh, beam, lang, isang beam lang yung chinecheck natin. Uh, sa so oh, iba, chinecheck okay. natin sa isang direction. Yep. So, yeah. kung, That's right. kung nasa gitna siya, internal column, meron kang dalawang beam na nakakabit sa kanya. Okay. Yeah, I know. So, I think what you mean. Saan yun? Based on sa calculation, isang yeah. beam lang ang chinecheck natin. Okay, I know what you mean. Okay, yeah, that's right. I mean, what happened is that... Or, um, problem lang automatically. Yeah, I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Okay. Okay. Um, say, for example, this one. And this one. And then this and this. Actually, that the reason is this here. Um, I just wait for the for the template to finish. Okay, here. Um, what happens is that when I when I click this beam, uh, this and this, I have I have the strength of this moment of this element of this beam, but I don't need the full strength of this. I only need the tension. Uh, I I only need the strength of the other beam, which is it's it's not the whole, the full potential, but just the minimum the minimum moment capacity based on the reversal of, based on this um, minimum bars at the other side of the beam, at the other side of the, of the column. So what happens is that because um, I, I, have, I have this, I have this, this strength of this, of this beam, and I know that if I have, I know that the strength of this of this beam using only the the compression bars when there is a reversal of stress here so i i can i can i can i will know that the the reversal i mean i i will know the the capacity of this beam given the minimum bars of the other at the other side only that's why you see here see here the, these two beams are supposed to be the same, but I'm using the full the, the full tension capacity of, the, of this beam when this has the, the tension bars here, but I'm only using the tension capacity of this beam using the minimum minimum bars only, not the, the full tension at the side. So that's why you can see it. it's uh, the other side has smaller moment capacity than this one because basically we know once you have this this um, design and if you consider only the compression uh, bars as the tension bars when there is a reversal of uh, stress, then you can also get the tension uh, the capacity of, of this beam when there's a reversal and that's what I am using on the other side because when there is a you can see here, when there is a, a, for, a force here this will be um, how to do this one okay, uh, 
maybe this code. It's like, uh, like that. So that, that the tension is here and the tension is here. So the moment capacity at the other side of the, the column is not the moment capacity when you have the tension bars here. It's the moment capacity when you have the tension bars here. And because the code um, requires that the minimum bars must be one half of the tension bars, then you can, we assume that uh, we know already the, the minimum bars here. So basically that's the reason. Did, um, did, I'm not sure if I was clear that what is shown here is not, if when I design this, I have the moment capacity of this beam. But what is used for the moment capacity on the other side of the column is not when the beam is at tension here, but at when the beam is using the tension bar, the bottom bars as the tension reinforcement. So it's much smaller than uh, when it is considering that, that the moment is tension here. That's why it's smaller here. Because they have the reversal of uh, uh, just a reversal of uh, what you call that that slope of, or the uh, what you call that there's a reversal of curvature at this joint. So we are you are considering one load uh, that this um, this joint is really. Um, supporting at the same time. I think um, GR also, actually I, I learned this from, from GR, to be honest. <laughs> okay, sir, noted. So, bale, ang assumption is pareho sila ng size yeah. dun sa sinelect mo na beam, tapos ang calculation lang is AS mean. Yeah, I mean, meaning uh, you, 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 yeah. Okay, noted. So automatic na siya na, no? may yeah. yeah, that's right. Okay, clear. So kapag may magkibang size sa kabila, double check na lang. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. Mm. Okay. And it's easy for you to assume because the code requires that it's one half of the tension bars. Minimum, yeah. Okay, um, any other question? Um, sir, okay, yep. Maybe it's one column, there are four beams. <laughs> one column, yeah, that's a good question. You're really, <laughs> maybe, sir, there is one column, there are four beams. Well, that's a, a really good question, but Currently, we have big, okay, one column, four beams. Do you mean that, and in this case, in there are one attempt, column, four beams? In attempt nyo lang, sir, nasagutin yung tanong. Ha? Huh? Uh, sorry? In, uh, sinubukan nyo, sir, sagutin yung tanong. So, hindi siya panibagong tanong. Aha. Uh -huh. Laging half or more. Uh -huh. So, ano, hindi siya panibagong tanong. <laughs> ah, okay. So, yeah, I mean, at, um, there are four beams, for example, there are four beams here, so uh, basically you have to, to select, the, uh, I will, I will ex hide the slab, okay? So, basically, say for example, at this joint here, there are four beams and, and one column. So that means you have to select this column four times and you have to select this beam one at a time, but this column is four times, but it doesn't really matter because every time you select this column, you will get the same stresses for this element. So you will get the same design. 
the reason why we select this column and, and beam is just to make sure that it satisfies the requirement that it is a strong column compared to the beams. So you can have as, as many as many as as many beams as, as you want basically. Um, sort of elaboration is gonna uh, thank you. Um, okay. Um, so any any questions, guys? So um, if you are a licensed from CEO, sir, you should download. Um, in the latest version I just uploaded today, because you this only works uh, in the latest version. You won't you won't be able to use this in the previous version, and, and it's free. You don't have to worry. Okay. Okay. So now I think I'm. Um, I think you were able to connect now what GR was talking about yesterday because now you you were able to see how the design works and last last night GR was talking about the concept of ECMRF and that's the reason I hardly announced that there should be a, a webinar tonight so that my continue some in your information. Okay, so I think um, no more. Okay, <laughs> so th thank you very much, guys. So if you have any more questions, just okay. Um, so I think I have to end. Uh, I have to end this webinar uh, tonight. And thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so thanks, any questions, sir. Uh, any questions? Just ask in the. Oh, in the uh, uh, Mark, I okay na ibo ang iksilha. Ano ka problema? Okay na sir, salamat sir. <laughs> okay, sige guys, thank you very much. So any more questions? Just ask in FB, and I will answer that every webinar. I won't be able to answer that every night because I'm really I'm really busy in my work. But I can help you every Saturday. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.